It's not too early to plan to attend the Liberty Lunch in November, November 21st, 2012, at Minerva's. If you missed the October Lunch, here is part of what you missed. Thank you so much for inviting me to attend today's Liberty Lunch and allowing me to address you by video. I apologize for not being able to make it in person, but we're busy campaigning and making sure that people know the clear choice that they have on November 6th to represent them in Congress. I do want to thank you all for everything that you've done for me over the past two years. Your encouragement, your prayers have meant so much to my family and to me. We have literally changed the conversation in Washington from how much more do we spend to how much more do we need to cut to tighten our belts. We banned earmarks, we've cut our own office budgets two years in a row, we've cut discretionary spending, which is the first time that that has happened two years in a row since World War II. Change in Washington can be hard, but I'm hopeful that after this next election, we'll have even more fiscally responsible leaders in Washington who are willing to make the tough decisions that will solve our debt crisis. You know, this race is a little different than the last one. Unlike Stephanie Herseth Sandlin, my opponent, Matt Verlick, isn't afraid to say that he's a Democrat. He proudly supports Obamacare, spent years advocating for the cap and trade energy tax, and admits that he agrees with President Obama on just about everything. This is South Dakota, after all, so he knows better than to run on his record as a dyed-in-the-wool liberal Democrat. Instead of running on what he believes in, he's creating false attacks to distract South Dakotans from the issues that truly matter in this race. The level of absurdity knows no bounds. He even criticized me for going to a deployment ceremony for members of the South Dakota National Guard who were sent on a year-long assignment to Afghanistan. You know, there's just 20 days left in this election, and we can't take anything for granted. For the next few weeks, everyone needs to put their boots on, hop in the saddle, and make sure that we're doing everything that we can to elect those who share our same values and vision. Thank you so much for everything that you do, and may God richly bless all of you.